If people are my way, perfect. If people are not my way, I understand that they are different. But when people are not my way, or when situations are not my way, what I record here, what I record here is very important because this person and their behavior is with me only for few minutes, few hours. After that, I go to work. Or if they are at work, then after that, I come home. But in response to their behavior, what I record here is with me, is with me for, for 24 by 7. So then, it's not their behavior which is going to cause discomfort, but the recording I do here in response to their behavior starts causing me the discomfort. And then when I am uncomfortable, and then I meet another person who's not my way. So in that uncomfortable state of mind, I record another uncomfortable recording here. Possible? See it right from early morning. Early morning. You're trying to wake up your child to go to school. How many children wake up peacefully to go to school without you having to say anything to them? They don't. Now how I respond to that situation is going to decide what I record here. If I record an uncomfortable noise here, it will come with me on the way to work. Then there is a traffic jam on the road. I record another uncomfortable response here. This will go with me to work. And then at work, so there are so many people not my way. And I've already prepared my mind when people are not my way, I record something here. And with all these recordings, I come home in the evening to my family. And they really don't have to do anything to be not my way, but my those recordings which I did throughout the day start creating the discomfort in those couple of hours that we get in the evening together. How much time do we really get together in the evening? How many hours? Two hours? Three hours? Not more than that. But even in those two, three hours, we are not able to create today an energy of an energy of harmony and empowerment for our children only because of those little, little, little scenes which came during the day when we recorded something here which was not comfortable. So today, we're going to do a little practice. Situation, not my way. Person, not my way. Recording, recording, my choice, my choice, scene will get over, person will move away, recording, I have to live with, recording, I have to live with, recording, I carry with me from one scene to the next. And spirituality teaches me that when the moment comes for, leave, for me to leave this costume, all my recordings go with me. Family doesn't go with me. Family's behavior doesn't go with me. My recording goes with me. Do we create a recording every time we respond to a situation and person? Do we create a recording here? Yes? Yes? Yes. Is the recording my choice? Is the recording my choice? Is the recording my choice? Or is it dependent on the situation? Sister, I'm going to say something to you in front of 2,000 people here. 
that something is not going to be very nice. She's already... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. It's going to be something which you might perceive as a public insult. That I have insulted you in front of so many people. How long would you take to forget it? Anyone? How long would you take to forget it? How long would you take to forget it? We forget all the beautiful moments. We forget all the beautiful things we do for each other. Do one thing which is not comfortable. I met somebody the other day who must be around 40, 45 and was holding on to something against his parent. And I said, what happened? Why so much resentment inside? One day, in front of all my school friends, my father insulted me. I said, in 40 years, that's what you remember about your father? I said, you have any idea what all your father has done in 40 years? And what you're remembering right now here is, my father insulted me in front of my school friends once at home. Why is it that that is more easy to remember and not all the other things? Why? It's the culture we grow. The culture is teaching us to record the unpleasant ones. Upbringing. Think, I am going to say something right now, which is going to be perceived as an insult. How long will it take you to forget it? Erase from the CD here. Everyone check because everyone's time period will be different. It's not going to be the same for everybody. Ask yourself, how much time will I take to delete it? Anji, depends on? Depends on me? Depends on? Depends on you. Huh? I cannot delete the recording. I can insult you. Actually, I will not even insult you. I will only share something which I feel is truth according to my perspective about you. You will perceive it as an insult. You will perceive it as an insult. Brother, please stand one minute. Let me give them an example of an insult. I'm going to say, what a horrible, shocking, red sweater. Yeah, how can anyone wear a red sweater at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? I can't even look at the sweater and he's wearing that sweater. It's just simple truth. My perspective about a red sweater. It's just my perspective. It's my truth. For me, red is uncomfortable. But when I speak my truth about the other person, and my, what I'm saying and what the way I'm saying was not what he expected because he expected me to say, wow, you're looking so good in that red sweater. We expect something else and what we get is completely different. And so immediately there will be a recording here. She, now what are you going to record about me? Sure? No feeling bad? Not at all? Perfect. Sit down. Thank you so much. How many of you can do that? No feeling bad at all. And the next time you see my video on TV, you won't remember now what I said that day in the hall. You won't remember, right? You liked this moment. Very good. No, it's true. It's absolutely fine. Because it's going to depend on how he perceives what I said about him.
and what he will record here will not be what I said. What he will record here will be his perception of what I said. I will disappear. Tomorrow the sweater will also disappear. Yes. But what will remain? That's why it's important to take care what we record. It's not about the other person. It's not about the scene. It's not about the situation. It's about what we record about the other person or about the situation. And if he records now her opinion, anyway, she's wearing a boring white color. What does she even know how it is to wear red color? She's never even worn red color ever. Her choice, she doesn't like my sweater, no problem. I love my red cardigan. No wound, absolute comfort, self-respect, respect for the other person's opinion of being different. Life is comfortable. Nothing to do with me, nothing to do with what he's wearing, completely to do with, completely to do with what he records in that scene. Five minutes later, there will be another scene. Three minutes later, another scene. A scene after scene after scene after scene after scene is life. Is life. If I teach my mind to record beautiful songs for every scene, then I'm happy in the same world and with the same people. But if I record something which is contradictory to what he is saying, then I will disappear. Sweater will get old and thrown away. The only thing that will remain will be, she insulted me in front of 2,000 people. And once he records here, she insulted me, there will be a song of insult here. And then the next time, someone else, not me, someone else doesn't even say anything, just looks at him like this. So he also insults me. Look at the way he's looking at me. Is this the way to look at me? He, because the song of insult is already recorded, the chances of it replaying increase. And then next week, someone didn't like his post on Facebook in this red sweater. <laughs> Selfie. Me in my red sweater in the theater of awakening. <laughs> but his best friend didn't click like button. And then I will say, I like every post of his. And I expected him to like my post. And the song of insult is sitting there, already ready to play, because it's in the automatic mode. It plays on every scene of life. He also insulted me. She, and very soon, that starts becoming the background music of my life. We need to pause and check. There are few songs which are playing a little too often. A little too often. And sometimes we start saying, everybody rejects me. Similar patterns keep coming back to me in my life. Many people are feeling this. Same thing is happening to me repeatedly. It's not the same thing happening to me repeatedly. It is the same song playing repeatedly to the different things happening to me because I'm not choosing to record and play a beautiful song. I've recorded a sad song and I'm playing it every time. Do I have a choice which song to record? Yes. So only thing that I have to do to shift from a life of anxiety, fear and stress to being at peace, ease and happy is to take care of what I record in every scene today. And I will be able to do that when I'm aware that what I'm recording here 
has nothing to do with has nothing to do with them their behavior will get recorded on my response will get recorded on so when i say this to him ugly sweater that song will get recorded on my cd it will not get recorded on his cd but how he thinks about what i speak will get recorded on his cd and that is what is every karma created by every soul gets recorded my every thought is my karma people will do their karma we can request them we can repeatedly request them but beyond that we may not be able to change their karma we may not be able to change but their karma is going to be with them their karma does not write my destiny what writes my destiny my response to their karma which means my thought in response to their karma is my karma my karma gets recorded on the soul here my cd and my karma writes my destiny all that we have to do throughout the day is conscious attention that what am i writing in response to every scene because what i'm writing is going to become my destiny if in the same scene he records this song she insulted me what will happen records it here and once this song she insulted me is here the vibrations of feeling insulted will radiate to his body will radiate to his body so what's the energy going to the physical body insult lack of respect not appreciated by other people energy will go to the body will the body respond will the body respond yes in what way does the body respond when we send energy to the body like this what does the body do what does the body do and that's why when you go for healing the first thing they will say to you release every unpleasant thing that you are holding on to and then we go to a therapist to tell them please rewind my cd not only to what i'm holding on to in this lifetime but also in past lifetimes so that when i release that my mind and body will respond healing so what i am recording on the cd is not just affecting the mind it also starts affecting the body blockage in the body clots in the body energy blockage is not an energy blockage in the body it's the energy blockage here after many many years that manifests into an energy blockage in the body we go to the doctor they will clean the blockage from the body and many times after a few years we are back with the same blockage does that happen does that happen after few years the disease has record why did the disease record because we removed the blockage from the body he did not remove the recording she insulted me and then that she insulted me radiates to the body in the next 5 years again and who is the cause of that disease not the other person because when we check for the cause of the disease we say it's they they ruined my life they abused me they tortured me they traumatized me they ruined my life i am a victim no they did what they had to do i had a choice what to record and when i record here she insulted me not only this relationship gets affected i go into my next relationship 
Next relationship means shift from home to work or work to home or to friends or to children. But my recording goes with me. And then I radiate that low vibration energy into my next relationship. My relationships also get affected. Does all this happen because of me? No, it happens because of what you record. So isn't it simple just to record nice songs even when people are not behaving really nicely to us? Easy? 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 Not easy? He did it so easily. What is so difficult? So sweetly he stands up and says, huh, so you don't like my red t-shirt? Fine. It's actually that simple. It is that simple if, if we are consciously choosing our recording and not just automatically reacting to what the other person is behaving. We have to consciously choose, not just react to what the other person is doing. Pause to choose the recording. Mm -hmm.